23. Go ahead, 23. Hey, John, you want to run me a check on a Jersey plate DFM 143? Checking Jersey, Denver, Frank Mary 143, over. All clean field, no violations or outstanding warrants. Uh huh. All the same, John, if you got a car in the area, send them by. I got a feeling on this. They're on the way. Please. Would you step out of the van, please, sir? Something wrong, officer? Well, your rear bumper on this side's hanging a little low. It's a definite hazard. Come on, I'll show you. See what I mean over here? It's Tell your friends to get out of the van. Do it nice and cheery, like. Frank? Perry? I need you a sec. Step back with me. Get down on your knees! Put your hand behind your head! Now! Me too. Down on your knees, put your hands behind your head. Hey, hey, what are you doing here? Oh, I heard it was you, I figured I better stop by. See if you were still breathing, chasing around like this in your age. Yeah. What do you got? Oh, about five or six hundred pounds of grass. Way down the back end so far, I could see sparks flying. All these jerks needed was a decent vehicle. They would have been home free. They make it too easy. Only for you, Phil. <laughs> so, uh, you still coming by Saturday? That sink drains any slower. Jenny's gonna divorce me. Surprised she hasn't already. She's a tough woman. Don't worry, I'll be there. All right. Take care, huh? Yeah. All right, kids, who wants to see a magic trick? Come on, let's go over to the table. Everybody moving, let's go. <laughs> it's time for the magic. Behold the amazing Dickie. We have a glass of water. We have a second glass of water. We have a third glass of water. One cup is empty. Two cups is empty. Three cups, oh! No water! What happened, huh? <laughs> the amazing Dickie yeah, Allen! Uh, who's it. hungry? Oh, Burgers are on. Over the table. Let's go over the table. <laughs> We've become slaves to the computer. You know? I mean, I'm standing at the checkout counter, and I, and I count out the proper change, you know? I prove beyond a reasonable doubt that 20 minus 1150 is 850. And all this girl can do is stare at me and say, well, I'm sorry, sir. The computer says the proper change is $6. Do you want me to call the manager? <laughs> Look, it's appalling, you know? It's, uh, it's terrifying is what it is. What's appalling mean? It means this country has traded in its brains and simple deductive powers of reasoning for computer chips. <laughs> it means awful, honey. Oh. <laughs> you mean, like, Dad's potato salad is really uh, appalling? <laughs> <laughs> Coffee. It's all about timing. Timing and precision. Now let's go over it. The time it'll take the bank staff to unload the cash will leave the vaults open and vulnerable between three and five minutes after the armored car guard comes out and drives away. It's 30 to 45 seconds until they turn on to Crawford. Gregory? As insurance, I'm at the corner of Grand and Crawford. 
When they pass by, I signal John. John? My police scanners are tuned to their frequencies in Portland, Cumberland County, Main State Troopers. Any one of them happen by the area, I'll know about it. Dickie? Yeah, I'm stashing the safe car 1.3 miles out of town on Route 9 behind an abandoned factory I found. Thank you. Oh, and the, uh, the backup car is at the drive-in theater. Carol? I didn't like the pickup in the car, so I worked on the engines in the getaway and the safe. We drive off into the sunset, we'll kick up a little dust. <laughs> Chalk up one more for the good guys. Well done. If all revolutions went as smoothly as ours, we wouldn't need revolutions. the word, Gregor, yes or no? Yes. John? Yes. Go. Tell them two men just robbed the bank on 7th. I'm in pursuit of a blue station wagon. Wait, it's about another mile and something up here, Dickie? No, no, it's right up here around the second corner. Wait, what? Brother, what the, that's too close. No, 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 look, I switched locations, man. There was an excavation crew there this morning when I stashed the car. You didn't tell us? Well, it was a last minute thing, man. I didn't have time, I forgot. You forgot? How the hell could you forget something like that, huh? All right, that's enough right now. Got a guy on my ass back there. Just go to the backup. Huh? I saw him get out of the car. Cool it, okay? No, it's not okay. We rob banks that finance causes and keep our own. We don't stay shootouts. Hey, look, he was gaining on us, all right? I would have lost him. I saved you the trouble. The trouble is you didn't stash the car as planned. Look, I already told you about that. That's a lousy excuse. Stick to the plan. Hey, stick this. Hey! Knock it off. We will critique this thing in its proper form. Now, let's get in the car and get the hell out of here. Okay, listen, I need uh, pictures of the finished cast sent to Washington as soon as possible, all right? Thank you. Now, um, Officer... Uh, Milton. 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 Where'd we leave off? Well, the bastards opened up on me. 
I reached under the seat for my weapon. That's when I realized I had my wife's car, so I couldn't return fire. Okay. Um, I'm gonna have somebody call you and uh, take a statement and maybe show you some pictures. I thank you for your cooperation. That's it? Shouldn't we be doing something? Well, we are doing something. Yeah, right. Excuse me. I mean, I'm not one of your highly trained feds, but where are the roadblocks? Where Milton, are the type Milton. These guys are long gone from here by now, all right? Trust me on this. Now, do yourself a favor, forget all about this, and take your wife out to a nice celebratory dinner, OK? Celebration? What do I have to celebrate, huh? I almost bought the farm today. Well, the key word is almost. You're walking, you're talking, and uh, your wife's not a widow. She even gets her car back. Sounds like a uh, pretty good day to me. You got the parts? Here. Ah, oh, brother. Why? You got PVC pipe. So that's what the guy in the store said they use nowadays. Yeah, but unfortunately, your house was built before World War II. So what does that mean? He's your partner, Jimmy. You tell him. You got galvanized pipes. That's what they used back then. What do you want from me? Blame it on Clarice. Who's Clarice? It's Gary's babysitter. You sent the babysitter? I didn't have time. I'm a detective, remember? Duty calls, I go to work. You should know that better than anybody. OK, so Saturday, I'll pick up the right parts and head over to your place. Gary, be there. He should be. Why? Want to show him how to fix the sink. This way, gradually, slowly, over time, he can teach you. I appreciate that. United Freedom Front. A bomb has been placed on your premises. It will go off in 45 minutes. Keep everyone away. Power to the people. Your favorite terrorist just phoned in a bomb threat to a compressor station in New Hampshire. What time? 8.15. A security guard took the call. He's keeping the area clear. Well, if this thing goes off with the usual precision, it'll all be over in about a minute. Life ain't no life at all, man. Yeah, tell me about it. You know, somehow I'm glad I did it, though. Che Guevara, the Berrigan brothers, Malcolm X, all of them went to prison. That's a little different in your case, don't you think? No. Okay. What is it? We got company. Cool, Dickie, put that thing away. What are you doing? Hey, he pulls us over. I'm shooting, man. Listen, our IDs are solid. He pulls us over. I start talking. It's no big deal. Put it back in the glove compartment right now. It's maintained. It's cool, man. See your license and registration, please. Sure. Is there a problem, officer? Got a lot of mud on that license plate. I can't make out the numbers. Step out of the vehicle, please. Well, the 
take a look. You got anything in that trunk to clean that? I'll get it. Breaker, breaker. They shot a cop. On Highway 27, they shot a cop. Damn! How are you being stupid? Listen, pal. You know, you want to be in a revolution? Somebody's gonna maybe die. Wake up! Wake up. Because we don't shoot cops. Get Perfect. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no more guns, Dickie. Knock it off! down just south of marker 118 on highway 27 all nearby units please respond Make it hang in there, right? You just hang in there. They're on their way. Don't die on me, all right, Bill? Come on, buddy. Come on. We gotta make a plan or something, okay? Uh, hey, hey, where the hell are you going, huh? You see that shop? They got a phone. With any luck, Carol's home and maybe she can come get us. So you stay here, keep your eyes open and your mouth shut. And try not to shoot anybody. <laughs> Hello. 50165. We got troubles, Carol. You have to come get us. What happened? I don't have time. Now just listen. We're not far from the state line. Remember that place we took the kids on the picnic? Jamie found a... Found a bird's nest. Okay, yeah, got it. Uh, can I bring him, Jamie? No, leave him. He'll be fine. Why, well, it's late. I can't just... Carol. Dicky shot a cop. I'm on my way. Um, listen, sweetie, I've got to go get Daddy. And I need to leave you here, huh? No. I'm going to lock that door behind me, and no matter what, you don't let anybody in you don't know. Okay. One of our patrols. 
You touch anything? No. Somebody's getting a warrant right now. What do you got there? A nice full palm print. Must have tried to push the car out. From Phil's gun, huh? Must have shot right from here. At least he got a couple of rounds off. Well, the bastard got one under his vest. Buddy of mine works for the feds. Let's go wake him up. I guess it was a revenge hit, you know? Bill busted a lot of drug guys along the way. The cop is over there. Some pistachios and stuff in the cabinet. I think so's home. Eastbury and the license is a fake. The address is a hotel in Connecticut. But what is it? That hotel. This guy mean anything to you? He's on our top ten. Who is he? Raymond Levasseur. Wanted for multiple bank robberies in the New England area, weapons violations, left-wing terrorist. You see a connection you want to tell us about? A few months ago, he tried to get a fake ID using someone else's birth certificate in a small town in Connecticut. The trouble is, the clerk knew the name and knew the person was deceased. She called in the sheriff. When he got there, Levasseur pulled a 9mm gun on him and ran. Same kind of gun used on Phil. Anyway, he got away. And just like your guy, he was using this same hotel as a home address. So I'm gonna try the hospital again. Mike, you just called 20 minutes ago. Yeah, I know. Yeah, this is Detective Garrett again. OK, thanks. There's no change. Well, no prints come back on Carl Eastbury. Let's try Levasseur. What's up this guy's name? He's a known associate, Thomas Manning, 36, Boston. Carl Eastbury is Thomas William Manning. He's your driver. All right. Print that out for me. I owe you one, Mitch. Hey, Mike. You gotta know something. This case is huge. We've been after these guys for seven years. All departments throughout the Northeast have been actively involved. Yeah, I hear you. Hey, it's kind of a bureau obsession. Walk on eggshells, Mike. And I wasn't here tonight. Gotcha. Morning, sir. I have info on Phil Shooter. Jimmy and I have been up all night, so if we could just go over this right away, and I could go home and uh, change, take a shower, check up on Phil at the hospital, and I could be back here in an hour. Mike, oh. you don't need to go by the hospital. No, really, it's it's uh, on my way. It won't slow me down. We can find these guys, sir. Mike, can you step into my office? Jimmy, we need to go over a few things. Mike, we need 
Special Agent Gabriel Valentino of the Boston Bureau of the FBI. Very sorry about Trooper Lamonico. You said you had some information, right? Yeah, um... If this is about Thomas Manning and Ray Levis here, we're already well aware of that. Oh, great, then. Boston, right? Yes. It was the office of Vorage, and their first crime was the bombing of a courthouse in Suffolk County downtown. Seven years ago? About that, yeah. yeah. That's a long time to be tracking one group, right? Well, not this particular group. They're very sophisticated and elusive. All I'm saying is after seven years, these guys shouldn't be still running around shooting cops, is all. Detective, I, I know that you're very upset right now, but I wouldn't mouth off about a situation you know nothing about. I suggest if you have any pertinent questions for Agent Valentino regarding this investigation, ask him now. Hey, Agent Valentino, my friend, my, uh, my ex-partner is dead. And as a cop, from a personal point of view, I want to find his murderer. So anything you can tell us will help. Levis here is wanted on federal warrants. Both he and Manning are known to be traveling with wives and children. There are others in the group. Any one of them could have been in the car. They're terrorists? They call themselves the United Freedom Front. Ostensibly, they rob banks to finance their political agenda. As far as we know, they have no connection to any of the better known groups, SDS, Weathermen. Levis here is a Vietnam vet. Did two years in Tennessee on marijuana charges. Thomas Manning did five years in Massachusetts. That's it? That's all I can share with you at this time. I need a whole hell of a lot. You have any problem with my men investigating this as a local homicide? Mm, no, not at all. Just so long as they understand we're running the show. Hey, Valentino. Yeah. You could run the show all you want. But remember, the star, the one who got killed, he was one of us. Okay. I remember that. Mike, we're working on a 27-hour day here. I think it's time we go home. Everything okay? Barely. Any trouble at the house? We didn't stick around long enough to find out. We just threw some clothes in a bag and split. We left everything we owned at that house. Well, that's the nature of the beast. No, Ray, I don't think it is. All right, we need to talk this through. We need to be out of here within 24 hours. Well, what about the shooting? Hey, hey. I'm not going to stand around and take a lot of crap from all of you for this. Yes, Dickie, you are. Our agenda is to attack establishment targets. That's buildings, not people. It's not cops. Hey, man. Cops get killed. But not by us. And this killing was unfortunate. It elevated our fugitive status, and it's a problem. But it happened, and we can't take it back. So we move on. Does anybody disagree with the notion that we continue the way we always have, and that we consider this incident an aberration? We're gonna need some cash. Patty will take care of that. Now, the reality is that we'll be under more pressure than ever before. So, we need to take measures. John? We're running a storage garage up in Binghamton under the name of Salvatore Bella. That's the idea I'm using now. I've rented a five ton. I'll take Ray, I'll drop off his gear, then Patty and the kids will go straight on to Albany. What about you guys? Well, Barbara and the kids can take our truck. We'll meet up after Binghamton. Now, unfortunately, the Eastbury IDs burned. That means all our IDs are compromised. Patty? Get rid of anything that has your old names on it. Gregory? I'll line that route with a colored marker, like uh, one of those AAA trip ticks. Head west out of Pennsylvania, then zigzag north through Ohio, and come into Binghamton by the back door. Great. 
Okay, Tom and Carol, this relocating is going to cost some money. See to it that we have a bank plan in the works by the end of the week. We'll need to hit one soon. All right. All right, let's go. Load yeah. it up. Yeah. Okay, sir. Ken? the night over at the Lamonaco's. How's Donna? The way I would be. She would be so weak. Where's Gary? Sent him over to the Higgins last night. That's good. Any leads? Sort of. Turns out that the guys that murdered Phil are on the FBI's most wanted list. Some left-wing political terrorist group. You think Phil knew that? I doubt it. I think he just knew they were bad. One official Pennsylvania search warrant. You gonna tell me why to fly in here to get it? Yeah, the owner of this place uh, couldn't reach his tenants, so he came by in person to check up on them. They were all gone, all except the dog, all alone and whining like crazy. The thing trashed the joint. The landlord went nuts. He called the pen troopers. The pen troopers called us. It seems that the house was rented in the name of Easterly. Easterly, Eastbury. Pretty close, right? Let's go find out. Nice sound, huh? Warning system. Romans use geese. How'd you know that? in a book somewhere. Classical Terrace. Nice touch. Take it on outside. Definitely a hasty exit. What is the dog? Dog leaves his business. Plants that don't smell like a sewer. It's a kid's room. Yeah, just the usual kid stuff. Photos of rock groups, toys, drawings. The kids went to school. Look what they studied. I wonder who the kid is. He's the kid who lives here. The guy who lives here. Well, it could be two people who don't have nothing to do with anything. Who knows, right? Jimmy. Well, well, little black book. First names only, no area codes. These are our guys. Let's go, Jim. I'm surprised the FBI's not here. I'm not. I never called him. You kidding me? No. You know we're talking borderline obstruction here, Mike? Well, obstruction is them getting here first, sealing the premises, and not letting us put the ninja law investigation. That's obstruction. We're gonna find Phil's killer. We gotta find him on our own. Out of your jurisdiction. This is an illegal search. Oh, yeah? I'm sure the Pennsylvania judge who issued this would disagree. Hey, I thought I made it clear that this is our investigation. Yeah? And our deceased victim. Garrett, I'm gonna say this one last time, okay? I appreciate your loss. I do. And you are entitled to investigate the murder of Trooper Lamonaco, but in the process, you will not, you cannot impede an FBI investigation of a terrorist group that is a threat to dozens, if not hundreds, of other people. Now, you want to work on this? Fine. But you pull something like this again, and I promise you, I will have you yanked off your own case. Now, are we clear on this? I hear you. Good. Yeah. And another thing, you uncover anything, you tell me. Yeah. 
don't think he was referring to things like this uh, photo or phone book, do you, Jimmy? He was a good kid, well-mannered. He just sort of blended in. I'm, I'm sorry, I can't tell you more. Do you have a picture of him? No. He was absent the day we took class pictures. I was real clear with the parents. We only had one day to do it, but unfortunately, he was sick. Mm -hmm. Could this be him? That's Timmy Eastbury, yes. Or what'd you say his name was? Manning. Jamie Manning. Do you uh, recognize the man in the photo? No, I don't. But it's not his father, I can tell you that. Mm -hmm. Or at least the man I thought was. This is very confusing. You should think of anything else. Call us. Thank you. This is your copy, sir. Thank you. Register first a month. Lock is ours. We have the only key. Is everybody in this group study ancient Rome? It's cheaper than the alarm system in my house. <laughs> hey, anything you'd like to share since we let you go first? The landlord said they were good tenants, quiet, clean, paid their rent on time, three kids. Just your average hard-working American family, right? Yeah, they stripped the place clean, took everything, even the landlord's stove. Any info says they own trucks? Nope. Guess that means they had to rent one. Yeah, Garrett, they had to rent one, which means we already had to check the records of every truck rental place in the area covering the last week. So you're a little late, but I'll be sure to uh, drop the major a line about your incredible insights. Thank you. Yeah, this guy's got a big head, huh? Huge. Stupid. Who does? It's my fault. What is? What's your fault? The teacher asked me to write my name on the board. And I started to. Then. Then I couldn't remember what name I was supposed to be. <sighs> so I just stood there like some jerk who couldn't spell his name. And the kids started laughing at me. I don't know why I couldn't remember it. I got mixed up, I guess. I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry. No, you've got nothing to be sorry about. Nothing, Mom. I'm sorry. I love you, James. It's Michael. Michael Conway. Oh, I love you, James. I'm sorry. I'm just... Seems like the old philosophy's fallen by the wayside. For bank robbers, period. Are you saying it's time to plan another bomb? No. I'm saying we used to stand for something. I say we did. Going out to fight the good fight against oppression. Well, I don't see us helping any oppressed people lately except ourselves. Nothing but a bunch of common criminals. Come on, Carol. No, no, Tom. I think she has a point. We do seem to have lost our focus lately. Our vision. Say we do another bank. We build ourselves a strong financial position again, and we get back to our true purpose. We draw attention again to the purveyors of oppression and suffering by destroying their ill-gotten rewards. 
We dig in deeper than we ever have. And thank you. For the reminder. Whoa, Jimmy. Look at this. Same phone number in Boston called repeatedly. Matches up with the one in the book. How about we find out who it belongs to? Take a ride up there. Boston? I'll drive. Mike, it's a six hour haul. So, uh, we'll be there by four. Got 300 miles for this. It's like your kind of place. How you doing? Uh, can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah. Oh, what's young Dickie done now? You know this guy? Dickie Williams, yeah. I always managed to get in trouble one way or another. Actually stole a car on the way to court for an auto theft rep. <laughs> yeah, he just never had much respect for the law. I gotta bounce him out of this place. Cry in shame. And you don't know the half of it. Look, maybe I, I should wait outside while you pay your respects. You're afraid of the FBI? No. I just want to get blood on my suit when I slam your head against the wall. What? Me and Val like this. Let me know if we hear back from the property manager. You know that. Well, let me guess. You wanted to see a Sox game at Fenway. I heard you had a box. Long way from home, aren't you? You gonna invite us in or what? Well, that depends. I need you to run a set of prints on a guy named Dickie Williams. If I ever get you 10, he's the key. How'd you ID him? He used to hang out at a pub. Practically lived in it. Near here, in fact, real near. Um, what do you call it? It's about five or 10 minutes from, uh, what's it, Jimmy? Office of Origin. Yeah. Where'd you get the picture? What's the difference if he's one of our guys? Where'd you get the picture? Pennsylvania. Now, we had a talk about this, didn't we? What? The Manning House was a federal crime scene. This photograph is evidence, and you withheld it? I sent full reports on every move we made, which I'm sure you never bothered to read. My ass is covered. Your ass is going to end up in a federal penitentiary! This arrogance and this renegade cop with a mission crap does not fly with me. That's because you see Phil's death in only one way. The break you need to crack your case. You know what? You're right. We're pressured to gonna make more mistakes. And now I'm gonna give you a bonus break. I'm helping you out. Get out of my office. Get out. Don't forget to run those prints. Agent Valentino overreacted, sir. Jimmy and I found a valuable lead to Phil's murder. All we did was follow it up. Uh-huh. And then all you did was shove it in Valentino's face and imply he was an incompetent moron in front of his men after admitting you pocketed a crucial piece of evidence. In my book, that's questionable behavior at best. If anybody overreacted here, it's you. This Valentino... This Valentino is the man in charge. Mike, I know what Phil meant to you. All the same, you gotta leave your emotions at home. When the badge is on, you act like a professional. And if you're in the jurisdiction of another law enforcement agency, you treat them with respect. If you can't, I would understand. But then you're off the case. Up to you. Good job. Did he come back yet? Yeah, he's got his booking office. Odell. Just a minute. It's Val. For me? Mine, too. I can't believe you called my CO. Well, I can't believe you stole vital information from our investigation. What do you want? I ran the prints. Richard Dickey Williams did five years for robbing a motel with a broken gun. And guess what? 
His prints match the prints in the Nova. He was in the car. He's probably the shooter. I gotta go. All right. You sure you told her the right place? Yeah, I'm sure, Greg. What the hell do you want from me, man? Got an old lady who can't tell time. How simple could it be, man, huh? How simple could it be? Easy, man. She's got a truckload of furniture. She's got two kids. Man, she's a half an hour late, and here we are sitting here in the middle of the night in the middle of nowhere. Wait a minute. It's got to be them. What are you doing? Put it away. These guys are all hooked into the same computer system, John. They figure out who we are, and it's all over for us. And I'm not going to let that happen. But leave us alone now. Be cool. Relax. I'm relaxed, man. Trying to get a little rest, officer. Can I see your license registration, please? Sure. Gentlemen, like to step out of the car, please. Okay. Mine's got body armor! Uh, 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 got a gun! Talk to me. They're bringing him out. Box full of these in the trunk. He's as tight lipped as a prisoner of war. All he says is that he was hitching a ride and he has no idea who the driver was. Really? Well, I think you just may be lying. <laughs> Find out when we get to Boston. Boston, that's all I know. John made it. Yeah? He's coming down with Barbara and the kids. I had to get him hooked up uh, outside Berkshire County. If Barbara knew that was tough time, none of this would be happening. Hey, Dickie, remember the one about glass houses and stones? Yeah, Carol, I do remember. Do you? What the hell's that supposed to mean? It means I'm sick of this attitude. You ain't better than us. You were right there in Boston when that bomb blew that security guard's leg off. Hey! That was six years ago. Yeah, what, he grow a new leg back since then, huh? I don't think so. You, Tommy boy, you got blood on your hands, too. <laughs> hey, Pat. How you doing? Yeah. Everybody listen up. Five minutes, they're coming in. Come on, kids, we're gonna go downstairs. Come on, quick, 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 quick. Sweetie pie, where we go? Down the stairs. Woo! <laughs>
clear. They're clear. okay. They made it. It's all right. I want to crack this, Jenny. I can feel it. This guy they caught could be the linchpin. And I got some ideas on this myself. I think you might be jumping the gun here a bit, just running up to Boston like this. Oh, it's what I've been waiting for. This is what I need. I'm more sitting here in Jersey chasing our tails while they bring actions up in Boston. I, mean, I can't stand waiting. I want these guys. I know. I just... Careful. I'll call you as soon as I get to Boston. The hotel's right down the block from the FBI headquarters. I'll be right in Valentino's lap. That's the problem, Mike. He doesn't want you there. We'll figure that part out later. I still want to know about this Salvatore Bella. Never heard of him. You were riding in his front seat. I told them I told you. I hitched. Mm -hmm. And do you always hitchhike wearing body armor? It's a dangerous world, man. Yeah, it is. It certainly is. Especially with guys like you running around. I mean, you, you've done time on a weapons conviction, and now you are involved in the attempted murder of a police officer? Sounds to me like the safest thing to do would be to lock you up until you talk to me about Bella, or you die, whichever comes first. I got nothing to say to you, man. Nothing? You don't want to tell me about your friend, Dickie Williams? I want a lawyer. That's a good idea. In fact, you should think about having two or three lawyers, because I have been on to you guys for a long time. And Gregory, I must tell you, this is personal. Put him in his cell, get him out of here. Hey. What are you doing here? I thought the FBI never took things personally. Hey, please, it's been a long day. You could use some fresh blood. Uh, you don't go anywhere near him. In the case, Valentino. I mean, come on, you wouldn't have ID Dickie Williams if I if had... you hadn't him. lifted evidence. Yeah, right, thanks, very helpful. All right, all that aside, you know I'm good at this. Come on, I mean, I could alter my style. I drove all the way up here. I got a brand new suit. I got a beautiful room with a view. Why not just let me on the starting team? Walter, Walter, I, I didn't get anywhere with Davis. What did you find? Came up with a print match for one, Salvatore Bella, a.k.a. John Carl Lamont, 36, Buffalo. Did five years for robbery, then paroled to go to college, where he helped start the local SDS chapter, and subsequently bombed a New Hampshire police station. Yeah, oh, education's a wonderful thing. Garrett. Do you remember those truck rental receipts we found back in Pennsylvania? What about them? They're downstairs in a basement room. I want you to go through every one of them, see what you can find. Hey, you know, in my neighborhood, they call that grunt work. Well, you're not in your neighborhood. Everybody involved in this investigation has been doing grunt work from day one. I've been doing it for seven years. Now, I didn't ask you here. You want in, you got an assignment. The Salvatore Bella ID is blown. Then we better get to Binghamton and get our stuff out of storage. Nah, it's too late. The FBI's probably sitting on that place already, just waiting for us to show. Wait, there's disguises in there, minutes of our meetings, a bomb manual, cash. They get a hold of that, they got us. No, can't be traced. He's right, we're OK. Binghamton's a memory. I want to talk about the bombings. Our plan needs to be even more precisely calculated than ever. No civilian casualties. I've duplicated maps for three possible targets, New York and New Hampshire. I don't think we need to do another bombing, Ray. We need to get some cash set up in our houses in Ohio and lay low. I say we crank up the stakes. The more bombings, the better. You know what, Dickie? You just like to see stuff blow up. I'm telling you, the timing's all wrong. Now, listen, I agree with you, Tom. About the Ohio move, I think that's a good idea. 
But the bombings have to happen as planned. Tom, they think they got us. There's no better time to show them that the people are still strong. It's a classic tactic, you know that. Fine. Good. Carol? Power to the people. What can I tell you, Jimmy? I'm not enjoying this either. At least you're doing your work in Jersey, Frank. Hey, you're the one who wanted to traipse up to Boston, Mike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't start, all right? I'll see you when you get here. Yep. It's pretty old. It shouldn't be a problem. He's left-handed, keeps the gun strapped in tight. One of the bank officers controls the buzzer to the vault area. All right, well done. I don't do it for the money. Helps me to think. Yeah? You play for real? Another life. I didn't know FBI guys had other lives. Well, that's because you're narrow-minded. So what do you want from me, my lunch? No. I uh, heard you're sitting on some instruction manual from one of the Pennsylvania houses. I want to see it. We just got a copy of it back from Quantico. It was in code. We couldn't read it without a cross-reference, OK? You said I was part of the team. I said you were part of the team, not the captain of it. You'll see it in good time. No time like the present. How are you doing on those truck receipts I asked you to look at? Jimmy and I are on it. There's a ton of half a paper in those boxes. Well, there's no time like the present. I got it. Now, you gonna let me see that book or what? Huh? You starting to get the big picture here? Now, for years, we knew they were operating at a higher level of sophistication. But until we found that, we had no idea. I mean, look at that. They know which side the bank guard wears his gun on. They time out railroad crossings, police patrols, money deliveries to banks, traffic lights, landmarks. They even time out the intervals of their escapes. Total precision and discipline until, until they shot Trooper Lamonaco. Yeah. Phil was just the kind of cop you need on a case like this. Yeah? Instinct. He had this incredible instinct. It was like some internal radar. I mean, just, he knew when something wasn't right with a car, when a suspect had more to tell, when a lead was a waste or was not. He just, he felt it. Like that day, he must have sensed something wasn't right with those guys, and I got him killed. I'm sorry I couldn't have met him. You mind if I hold on to this for a while? No, oh, go ahead. Just don't steal it. Hey, uh, Val. You know what my gut tells me? That these guys are gonna hit a bank real soon. Could be. I wouldn't bet against anything with these guys. Cop or a psychic? Why do you ask? Two o'clock this afternoon, Bank of Onondaga, upstate New York, 195 large. See you tomorrow. Buy your dinner? Uh, I can't. Um, it's not what you're thinking. I, I really can't. I told my wife I'd be home early. Well, you lied. <laughs> yeah. well, rain check, though. Sure. Deal.
This is the United Freedom Front. The military industrial complex has destroyed this country with its corporate partners. It must pay for that destruction. It's in the boiler room. It's under a cardboard tent that says bomb. Describe it to me. It's one of theirs. Blue and yellow leg wires. Standard alarm clock. The minute hand stuck on a piece of plastic just short of the brass screw. Six volt battery? Roger. Nothing electrical? No. I'm gonna try and disconnect it. in a phone booth, block away, just like they said. What's it say? Power company's considering a nuclear plant on this site. UFF is concerned about the safety of the environment. So they try and blow it up. Makes sense to me. Bobby, talk to me. How are you doing? You know, they're turning up the heat when it should be us. What are you talking about? What? You can't turn up the heat on what you can't find. Do you have any idea how easy it is to go underground, especially when you're trained to blend in and survive the way these people are? Don't talk to me about turning up the heat. The deadline was a month ago. Yeah, I know, we just moved in, but see, this is the third time this year the kids had to move, and being on this team would really mean a lot to them. I'm sorry, I just can't do it. Way to go, Joey, nice throw. You know how it is for a kid to try and fit in, and believe he can play. He's a good little shortstop. As much as I sympathize, Mr. Howard, I need a shortstop. I really can't make an exception. Couldn't you just take a look at him? Tell you what, make you a deal. You play ball with the boy? Yeah, we play all the time. I'm short a coach. I'll put the boy in the team if you agree to back me up. That way I can justify it to anybody that might get their nose out of joint. Look, I'd love to, but my job takes me out of town unexpectedly, so I'd... We're only talking one, maybe two nights a week, tops. I can't do it. I'm sorry. Me too. Tommy, good hustle. Jamie. Come on, son. We're going home. Come on, son. I don't think it's going to work out. Finally made it through that warehouse full of truck rental receipts. You find a trail? No, but I thought about something you said early on. You should go back to Jersey? That there's a bigger picture. So let's think about it. Truck rentals, safe houses, storage spaces. They travel with their wives and kids, which means schools, dentists, Girl Scouts. Real life. The closest Jimmy and I got was when we went to that elementary school in Pennsylvania. You've already covered a lot of that stuff, Mike. I know that, but I'm thinking about something major all over. We zero in on the everyday stuff they had to deal with, terrorists or not, we're bound to come up with something. Think it's worth a shot? I think if the running game stops working, you start passing. Just for the record, though, it's not going to be good if we come up empty. Let's give it a try.
What are you doing here? For the last three months, I have orchestrated one of the most comprehensive regional sweeps in FBI history. In the last three weeks alone, our agents have uncovered where the bad guys ate, where they bought clothes for their kids, parts for their cars, and organic toothpaste for their teeth. We even found a veterinarian. It turns out the damn dog has an alias, too. Tell me about it. Jimmy and I... You know been... that the Levasseurs used a pediatrician in Boston that's the same one my kids go to? No, I didn't. We have agents on this in Massachusetts, Connecticut, New Hampshire, New Jersey, New York, Rhode Island, and Vermont. So we're closing in, Val. That's great. No, it's not. At 10.15 this morning, they hit a bank in Virginia. Virginia! Until they were so close, I felt like I could reach out and grab them, and now they're a 1,000 miles away. Actually, Virginia's only 500 miles away. So don't feel so bad. Thank you. <clears throat> uh, no offense, Mike. You went through this batch weeks ago. Come on, go with me, Jimmy. It's in here somewhere. I can feel it. You sound like Phil. We're better, right? Yeah. Salvatore Bella. Salvatore Bella. Yeah? Who is that? Oh. You don't know? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I've, I've heard it or seen it somewhere. Hello? Who's Salvatore Bella? Gareth? Hey, Val. We're getting close. Who is he? <sighs> Salvatore Bella was, um... One of uh, John Lamont's aliases. Why? Guess who rented a storage unit in Binghamton, New York, with a truck rented in Pennsylvania? Well, that grunt work will do it every time. Trying to catch up on your reading, Mike. It's family stuff. What's gotten us this close, you know, like magazines. What are you track them down with what they read? No, nope. by who what they read's addressed to. There's no labels on any of these. We just got them off the newsstands. We got a list here. Look, locations of bombings with maps. Now that's trial material. If we get to trial. When we get to trial, Val. Seems that this uh, Judy Himes was a big Cosmo fan. Who's Judy Himes? Judy Himes is the woman who resides at 37 Maple Street, New Haven, Connecticut. Do you recognize this man? Nope. What about him? Nope. Him? Oh, yeah, sure, I've seen him. We were next-door neighbors for a year and a half. Did you know him well? Oh, just to say hi, really. But Lori Marsh was very close to them. She babysat for both of us. Any idea where we could find her, Lori? Oh, yeah, sure. She works down at the lake at one of the concessions. I can make a call. Why don't we do that? Did you notice anything uh, different about them, unusual? Not really. I mean, they're super nice to me. Mm -hmm. They right you? No, and that's a weird thing. I mean, it's like I'm part of the family for a while, and then... Not even a Christmas card. I mean, especially after the accident. Oh, it's just weird. Come again? Mrs. Himes was driving. I was holding the baby. And like out of nowhere, some guy, I guess, cut her off. Because all of a sudden, she's like, oh my god. And before I know it, we're like crashing into this building. Oh, but I held on to that baby with all my might. And no one got hurt or anything. 
She was so grateful about that, and they were both like, anything you need and all, and then, poof, no more Himes family. Or, or what did you call them? Lavasseurs, Patty and Ray. Uh, listen, did the police come to the scene of the accident? Everybody came. It was broad daylight, and we're like, kapow, into this wall. Lori, do you remember, did the police file a report? Tell me about it. It took them forever. I was, like, late for my job, and my boss was, like, all over me. Oh, so I'm babbling. Is, like, any of this stuff helping? Chances are that police report's just gonna have an alias. Too bad our little friend Lori didn't hear which one. I mean, like, that would have been super, dude. Lori Marsh was in that accident, too. She wasn't using an alias. Michael Garrett, James O'Doul, meet Brenda Fisher, the woman in the accident with Lori Marsh. Brenda Fisher is also known as Patty Lavasseur. Now, all we have to do is find her. Call the DMV, New York. You know that I'm gonna have a fake address. It's gonna be two years old, at least. Well, in many ways, we need a point of, uh, departure. Hey, Mike. All this stuff of theirs, it's all perfectly organized. I mean, the domestic lives about the book. And you know what they're meticulous about over and over? Insurance. Patty Levasseur got sloppy. Didn't pitch the burned ID. We contacted her insurance company. I have a hot address. Where? Cincinnati. Cincinnati? Yeah. Well, not bad for a couple of Jersey cops. You did okay for yourselves. Listen, I'd like to invite you guys along, but you understand from here on out, this is strictly an FBI thing, right? He's a funny guy, huh, Jimmy? Hysterical. Next door to you. I probably did it one time or another, Mike. All right, one thing we know is this group sticks together like glue. All we got to do is follow her, and she will take us where we want to go. Let's get out of here. All right, she's uh, pulling out of the parking lot right now.
young Dickie Williams. Let's see where he takes us. Walter Williams is headed your way in a yellow four door. You go with him. We're going to stay with Levis here. And we got him. We're on our way. Lamont has made his appearance. Hey, birthday boy! He's moving away from the house. Yeah, I see him. He's walking towards two of my men. Go ahead and take him. Roger. Speed up. What? Speed up. Speed up. Okay, looks like they know we're here. Felony car stop. Let's go for it. Everybody move in now. All right, turn into that alley behind the post office. I don't think I can make that. Yeah, you got to make it. to introduce you to a friend of mine. Mike Garrett, New Jersey State Police. You remember them, right? All right, get him out of here. What time are you guys coming home? We're coming right now. Let me talk to Barbara. Barbara. Carol.
Hi. Do you need anything brought over? Yeah, some birthday candles. Can you believe it? I forgot the birthday candles. Oh, oh, hang on a second. It's my other line. Sure. Hello? This is FBI Special Agent Walter Ellison. You are surrounded. Come Carol, it's the cops. Get out. SWAT, get in there. Go, go, go. I want to call a lawyer. Oh, I want to call Thomas Manning. But I don't have his phone number. Now, maybe you could give that to me. An address would be nice, too. Law says I get one phone call. Well, you know what? You're absolutely right. You do. So why don't we take him to a telephone? Let's give you a phone call. Hey, take it easy now. I said I could call the lawyer. Oh, you can, Dickie, you can. I killed a cop in New Jersey. That's where you get to make your call from. That's the good news, Dickie. What's the bad news is, the cop you killed, he was my best friend. His son is my godchild. So this is your worst nightmare come true, pal, because my partner and I are going to drive you there tonight. And when you get there, you could call your lawyer, if you get there. Hey, what the hell is this? You can't let this happen. This is illegal. Only if they find the body. All right, all right. One Manning. Still warm. Damn close. Oh, yeah, Frank. Son, you watch out for cars, okay? We're gonna be out of money in a few weeks. Might have to do a bank. You know, Tom, I've been thinking. Maybe enough time has passed, huh? For what? For us. To live our lives. Got the rest of the group. They must know that Dickie pulled the trigger on that cop. Maybe they've given up on us. Oh, honey, I don't think so. Maybe not giving up, but... We haven't pulled a bank job or bombed a building since that Ohio thing. We know how to fake IDs. If we never did anything illegal again, we'd never be burned. We could just... get real jobs and... live. You make it sound like the witness protection program. I, I just don't know if it's possible. This guy's the bomb. The University of Wisconsin in 69 are still out there somewhere, Tom. It is possible. Yeah. It's been so quiet around here lately, I almost forgot who we are. I want to forget. Not for us. For him. something to think about. Supper's almost ready, huh? Jamie, honey! Time for dinner. Come wash up. In a little bit.
got my son. He's taken care of. Thomas Manning, you're under arrest for the murder of Philip Lamonaco, among other things. Get up. Thomas Manning and Richard Dickey Williams were convicted of first-degree murder in the death of Trooper Lamonaco. Along with Manning and Williams, Carol Manning, Ray Lavasseur, and John Lamont and Barbara Kersey were convicted in federal court for their participation in multiple bombings. Philip Lamonaco was the 48th New Jersey State Trooper killed in the line of duty.